everybody and thank you for joining me today. We are going to go through a very kind of calm grounding practice which will be really good to help your day or your week get off on a good track. So when you're ready just find your way into a comfortable seated position on your mat. If you have two yoga blocks or some books as well that you would like to just keep off to the side to keep handy then go ahead and grab those too. Otherwise, find yourself a comfortable seated position. You can sit on a cushion as well if that's more comfortable for you. Um, and then just go ahead and take a deep breath in so that you can grow really nice and long through your upper body. So take a deep breath in, grow nice and long, and then as you exhale, you can just let your shoulders drop away from your ears. And now you're going to begin to lower your gaze to a single spot on the floor, just somewhere in front of you. And as your gaze lowers, maybe your eyes will close. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. There's no need to force it. You can just let them naturally close as and when they decide to. And with your eyes closed, perhaps, or your gaze low, you can begin to really focus on your breath. Noticing if today you're finding it easy to breathe, or maybe it's not so easy. Maybe your breath feels a little bit ragged, a little bit tight. And when you do notice the quality of breath, see if you can notice it without drawing any judgments, without trying to decide what's right and what's wrong. There is no way that you should be breathing right now. All you're doing is noticing how it is. Maybe you can feel for where you're breathing. Are you breathing in through your nose easily? Are you breathing through your mouth as well? Not trying to change anything, just noticing everything exactly as it is. And then I'd like to invite you just to move your attention away from your breath and bring it into your mind. And as best you can, see if you can kind of create a void in your mind, a nice big open space. Imagine yourself in there, pushing all the stuff away, making some space. And you can make this void as big or as small as you want to. And when you've made your void, you can just go ahead and sit back ease the pressure off and start to pay attention to what is sneaking into that space that you've created. Notice the thoughts that are getting in there, the ones that are eager for your attention. Thoughts, feelings, lists, Notice what is really taking up space in your void. And as you sit back and let all of these things come into your void, 
maybe it's beginning to fill up a little. So when it does fill up, go ahead and take a dig, big deep breath in. Imagine you're gathering up all that stuff in your void. And then as you exhale, just go ahead and push it out. Get rid of it, empty your space once again. Now I invite you to pick and choose what you would like to place in your void. Pick and choose what you would like to place your attention on. Maybe just for this practice or the day, the week, perhaps the year. Find your strongest intentions, your goals, your beliefs, your hopes, your dreams and pull these out from the spaces in your mind and put them in your void, bring them to the front of your attention. And now that they're in there, taking up space, now that you've chosen what you want to have at the front of your mind, see if you can imagine all of these things happening for you. See if you can see them playing out in your day, in your week, in your life. Feel how it would feel to have these intentions come true, to enact them. And throughout this practice, throughout this week, this year, it is my hope for you that you will always come back to these intentions that you set. Always come back to letting them play out in your daily life, envisioning them, giving them life. And then you'll take a big breath in and wash everything out of that void, out of your mind, everything. Wash it all out. And exhale to release. And then gently flutter your eyelids open to a single point in the room. Do so very slowly, let the light in very, very gently. You'll take a big breath in now and reach your hands up overhead. And together at your heart center. Again, breath in and reach up. And your hands together. This time, let your left hand drop to the floor and reach up with your right. You'll take it across to your left ear just to help stretch the neck and keep your left shoulder dropped. Release your head, drop the right hand and then your left hand can reach up and across to the opposite ear for the stretch on the other side. Reach both hands up with a big inhale and bring them together at your heart center. Go ahead and grab onto your knees with your hands and we're gonna do some cat cow curls just from a seated position. So breathe in and puff out your chest, send it up nice and high, draw your shoulder blades together. Then as you exhale, you can curve through your spine, pull your belly button in and round through your shoulders. Breathe in and open up through your chest, 
Maybe let your head drop if that's okay for your neck as well. Curve it round the other way and do tuck your chin into your chest and pull at your knees for that stretch across the upper back. Inhale to open up. Exhale, round it out. Inhale, up and open. Exhale, round. Come back to center, reach up, inhale. And then you'll hook the back of your right hand onto the outside of your left knee and drop your left hand behind you. Take a big breath in and grow nice and long through your spine. And then a small twist looking out over your left shoulder. On your next inhale, find your way back to center, reach both hands up. And the twist goes to the other side, to so the back of the left hand, across your right knee and drop your right hand behind you. Inhale for the length in your spine. Take a twist on the exhale. Inhale, come back to center and reach both hands up nice and big and bring them together at your heart center. You're gonna roll over your knees now and make your way into a tabletop position. So you wanna be stacking your wrists underneath your, um, <laughs> what are these called, elbows? Underneath your elbows and underneath your shoulders, making a nice long line. Spread your fingers nice and wide and you want to be placing the pressure through your knuckles and not so much through your wrists. So you're kind of forward on your hands. Your knees are underneath your hips and the soles of your feet are flat on the mat. And then you want to create a slight activation in your belly so that there's no flopping. You're just kind of awake there. Your pelvis is tilted slightly down and you're pressing into the mat so that you're not rounding, but you're definitely very active through the upper body. And then go ahead and find a point on the mat about a foot in front of you and just focus all of your attention there. You're just going to send your right foot out behind you coming to your right tiptoes. Then you're going to lift that right foot up, keeping the foot nice and active and paying attention to draw in through your core. And then you'll curl the knee out to the side and then extend that leg and just drop it down. Now you want to come onto the, let me go this way. <laughs> so you want to come onto the inside of your foot so you can kind of get some more balance and then your toes are facing forward. When you're feeling kind of stable here, you can breathe in and reach your hands up overhead. And then we'll take a side stretch. So you'll drop your right hand to your thigh or to your calf, wherever it gets to and extend through the left side body. Keep your gaze lifted at the left hand if that's okay for your neck. Breathing some space all the way through the left side body. Breathe in and come back to center. Reach your hands up overhead. And then you can start to wiggle this right foot forward so that it comes right in front of you. You change direction again. <laughs> so that it comes right in front of you Keep your hands up overhead and you can start to kind of lower into this left hip from here. You might have to wiggle this right foot a bit forward so that your knee is over your ankle or slightly behind. And you're just looking for a stretch through the left side of the hip. Now you can keep your hands up overhead and keep extended through the chest if that feels good. Or you can just rest your hands on your knee. The important thing here is you're feeling the opening through the left hip. You'll take one more breath in 
And then on your exhale, start to straighten out your right leg. You can bring your hands down to the floor or to blocks as well. If you have your blocks nearby, you can bring your hands to blocks. And then you're gonna start to straighten out that right leg and point your toes in towards your face. We're coming for a half split here. Do make a note to keep your chest nice and lifted, your gaze forward. There's no curving through the back here. All of the attention is on the right leg, the back of the right leg specifically. Take one more big breath in. And then as you exhale, you can start to creep forward, bending the right knee and stepping it back so that you're back in your all fours position. And then recenter yourself, hands underneath your elbows, underneath your shoulders, and your fingers are spread nice and wide. Knees are hip distance apart. Keep that activation through your core. And then once again, focus on a point just in front of you. When you're feeling stable, you can send your left foot out behind you, just coming to your left tiptoes. Lift that left foot up, keeping the core very active the whole time. And then draw the knee in. Extend the leg out and drop it down. <laughs> Once again, come onto the sole of your left foot with the toes pointing forward. Make sure that you're feeling really strong and structurally <laughs> stable here before you breathe in and come up. Hands overhead. As you exhale, drop the left hand and reach up and over with the right. On your next inhale, come back up to center. And then you can start to wiggle this left foot around to the front. And then you can start to drop into the, oops, the right thigh. And again, you can keep your hands lifted if that feels good. Helps you open up through the chest as well, or feel free to drop them to your knee as well. What we're aiming for here is this openness through the right hip. One more breath in. And then you can drop your hands to the floor or to blocks and start to straighten out that left leg. Draw your left toes in towards your face. Keep your heart lifted, send it forward. Take a big breath in. And then as you exhale, you can start to come forward on your hands, make your way back into a tabletop position. And this time you're gonna curl your toes underneath you. Send your hips back into your heels and press. You should feel a nice stretch across the back of the feet and then press so hard that your knees lift. And then you can lift up through the hips into down dog. If this is your first down dog, then do take some time to walk it out. So you can bend one knee and then the other. And if you're feeling super tight through your hamstrings, don't be afraid to bend both knees as well. Take a breath in and walk your feet to your hands. We'll take ragdoll pose and you'll lay your hands, the back of your hands, just sit on the mat with your palms facing up. Let your head hang nice and heavy. No tension through the neck. Maybe shake side to side. Maybe shake backwards, forwards. 
and then you'll bend nice and deeply at the knees to help you come up to standing. And as you get to the top, breathe in and reach your hands up overhead. Bring them together at your heart center. Take an inhale and reach your hands up. And then you can go for a forward fold on the exhale. You can still bend at the knees here if you need to, if you would like to. Lift up halfway on the inhale. And then drop your hands, step back and drop your knees. Lower your chest all the way down to the ground. And then we'll take Sphinx Pose. So you're gonna stack your elbows underneath your shoulders and keep your fingers facing forward. You might wanna bring your feet a little bit wider than hip distance. And the backs of your feet, sorry, the fronts of your feet are flat on the mat. Think about drawing the roof of your mouth up towards the ceiling or towards the sky. And as best you can, see if you can direct your breath right into the bottom of your belly. So that you're expanding your belly space and your lower back space from the inside out. If this is too much for you, by the way, you can also just come down, resting your forehead on your hands. Wherever you are, you can gently release. And then place your hands on the mat, find your way into child's pose, keeping your knees together, and do move nice and slowly. When you get there, bring your hands by your sides with your palms facing up. And just as you did before, breathe space into the lower part of your belly and your lower back. Find your way up and you're going to cross at your ankles to come onto your back. When you're on your back, tuck your chin so your spine is nice and long and bring the soles of your feet to touch so that your knees can flop out to the sides. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Again, letting your gaze soften or maybe even your eyes close. And as you lie here in stillness, use this time to take note once again of everything that is creeping into your mind. Everything that is taking up space in your void. And then you can choose what you want there. Choose what is serving you, what is serving your intention. And discard anything that is not. Bring your hands underneath your knees and gently guide them together. Keep your knees knocked together and bring your feet out about the width of your mat. 
change the position of your hand so the opposite hand is on your belly and the opposite hand is on your heart. And allow now for some softness, some release. Focusing only on the good things, the things that serve your intention, your purpose, your vision, Release your hands to your sides. And begin to deepen your breath. Allow it to bring you back to the present. And then you can come to curl up on your right hand side. And then very gently find your way up to seated. And you may bring your hands together at your heart center. Grateful for your awareness of yourself, of your thoughts. And of this practice that you have that helps you to set intentions and goals, to envision them and to bring them to life. Let me bring your thumbs to your forehead. Namaste.